Hello students, welcome to Shinar. In this video, we are going to learn the fifth chapter in your class 7th science textbook which is acids, bases and salts. Um, I am Kartik Nune. We are creating videos on all subjects from class 6 to class 8. So please do subscribe our channel, also like and share our videos. Let's begin. Now, what is the chapter we are going to learning? That is acids, bases and salts. This is the chapter we are going to learn. How many topics we are having in this chapter basically we are having four topics so in the beginning we are going to have an overview of all the four topics after that we will discuss each topic in detail so let's join with us friends now we are entering to the overview session basically the first topic is acids and bases what are acids what are and bases how their names were derived and what are the nature of acids and what is the nature of bases we are going to learn about about these things in this first topic then what is the second topic the second topic is the natural indicators around us what are called indicators what indicators will do does uh, indicators uh, make uh, what what indicators will show when there is an acidic substance and what indicators will show when there is a basic substance and what are the natural indicators around us we are going to learn about the natural we are going to see what are the natural indicators and the next topic is the next topic is and the third topic is the neutralization what is meant by neutralization uh, how we can neutralize both acids and bases what will be formed when there is neutralization we are going to learn all these things in this third topic and the fourth topic is neutralization in everyday life how can how we can neutralize in our everyday life basically how we can neutralize in the case of indigestion in the case of antibiotic in the case of soil treatment in the during the case of fat factory waste so we have completed the uh, overview of our chapter now we will enter into the deep discussion of the chapter we'll discuss the, every topic in detail so we, we, without wasting time we are going to start this session so first topic what is the first topic is acids and bases okay what are acids and what are bases so acids what are acids basically curd lemon juice orange juice and vinegar taste sour basically when you observe curd and lemon juice oranges they all will look they all will have sour taste so we call these substances as acids okay we call these substances acids basically what are acids means those which are having sour taste are called as acids we have we have defined as acids as those which are having sour taste are called as acids these are all having acidic nature the chemical nature of such substance is acidic the chemical nature of such these substance is acidic so how the acid name is derived the word acid comes from latin word so basically the the word acid comes from latin word latin word what is the latin word the latin word is acer what what is its meaning its meaning is sour basically the substances which taste sour we call those as acids okay uh, the chemical nature of those substances is acidic then what are bases what are bases the substances like baking soda uh, like baking soda or substances which are substances which are soap like structure and bitter are called bases so bases what are bases if you clearly see if anything feels soapy and or uh, if anything is bitter to taste if anything is bitter to taste and if anything feels soapy generally this substance we called as generally this substance we called as bases bases so generally acids are what they are sour in taste chemically they are having acidic nature then what are the bases they have bitter in taste and feels feels soapy those we called as bases okay these are acids and these are bases okay the nature of such substance is said to be basic they are having basic nature they are having acidic nature so every time we have to taste every substance and we have to decide this is the acid this is base this is having sour taste so it is as acidic it is having bitter taste so it is basic means it is somewhat difficult so we have to we have to find for another way to differentiate between the acid and basic so the another way is use of indicators the substances here is the definition for indicators the substances are now these substances are known as indicators which substances which substance means 
special type of substances are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic so we use some special type of substances to test whether whether the given substances the sample substances acidic or nature those substances which are used to test uh, the given substances acidic or nature are called indicators what is the definition of indicators what are indicators indicators substances indicators are nothing but they are also the substances which are used which are used to test to test whether whether given substance is acidic or basic acidic or basic we call those as indicators basically indicators are the substances which are used to test the acidic nature or basic nature we call those as indicators okay generally we have oh, we have natural indicators also and some uh, chemically prepared indicators also okay the indicators what the indicators will do the indicators change their color when added to a solution containing an acid or basic substance if there is a solution which is maybe acidic solution or uh, which may be having any acidic substance or basic substance when when that solution is added to the indicators what happens the indicator will changes its color the color of the indicator will be changed by uh, by differentiating the which color it is getting we can clearly differentiate between the acidic nature and basic nature so basically indicators helps to differentiate between acidic nature and basic nature then how can indicators helps us means when any substance any substance any sample substance which we have to find out whether it is a acid or a base so how we can differentiate between acid substance acid substance and basic substance how indicators will be used to differentiate those how they how how means basically when the given substance or the given solution is added to the indi indicator then the color of the indicator will be changed then observing the color of the indicator or the observing the change in color of the indicator we can easily differentiate or we can easily judge that it is a acidic acidic substance or basic substance so that is all about the first topic okay we have completed our first topic now second topic second topic is natural indicators around us what are the natural indicators around us basically litmus litmus is the natural dye which is the natural indicator around us basically litmus is prepared from uh, lichens okay uh, in, uh, in practically we have uh, two litmus papers litmus strips available that is red litmus strip and blue litmus strip the, it is the indicator okay what happens when what happens acids acids what happens to what acids will do acids will do will turn blue litmus into red acids acids when acids are uh, when this litmus paper is dipped uh, in acid solution what happens blue litmus paper will turns to red litmus paper what bases will do when uh, red litmus paper is uh, dipped in base solution that red litmus paper will turn into blue litmus paper okay that is the natural indicator litmus it is available in the strips we called as litmus paper or litmus strips okay it is basically from it is basically from lichens it is a natural litmus paper or a large natural indicator and uh, another natural indicator is turmeric turmeric is also another natural indicator how we have to prepare turmeric natural indicator means take take turmeric powder take turmeric powder add water to it add water to it and make a paste and make a paste you have to uh, apply this paste on a uh, in a paper filter paper filter paper you have to kept it for, uh, for some time then your turmeric natural indicator will be turmeric natural indicator paper will be ready this is the our natural indicator natural indicator so basically what you have to do now 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 put a drop of soap solution on the strip of turmeric powder now what you have to do you have to put a drop of soap solution on the turmeric paper then what happened you have to observe it now okay 
you have to do that experiment and you can finally get what does it tell. similarly the test solution listed in table 5.3 and note down your observations you may try solutions of other substances too you have to do this table what you have to do you have to uh, pour lemon juice on the turmeric uh, turmeric solution or the turmeric paper you have to pour orange juice you have to pour vinegar solution like that you have to do that experiment on the turmeric solution and uh, uh, what are the your observations you have to write here that is about the turmeric indicator then the next indicator is the chain arrows it is also a natural indicator so uh, what you have to do how to prepare this you have to take chain arrows uh, chain arrows petals and you have to add it to uh, hot water you have to add it to warm water and keep the mixture for some time till water becomes color colored okay what you have to do after adding warm water you have to wait for some time until the mixture becomes colored so after that your indicator is ready you know you can use it to test acids are basis okay now what you have to do you have to add five drops of indicator to each of the solutions given in the table 5.4 so you have to what are the given in five there are some solutions in the 5.4 what you have to do you have to add you have to add that uh, solution that uh, chain arrows indicator solution to all these and you have to observe the color change okay that is the another indicator we are having so that's it our second topic is also completed and now we are going to discuss the third topic what is the third topic the third topic is neutralization what is meant by neutralization okay now we are going to discuss about this topic neutralization so uh, until now what we have discussed about acids and about bases and about indicators what indicators will do indicators uh, upon the use of the indicators we can guess whether the substance is acid or base okay now what happens when an acid is combined with base what happens when you mix acid with base what happens we are going to know what will be happen when an acid is mi mixed with base so for that for that for that we are going to do some activity okay in this activity we are using some indicator which we are not have discussed earlier the indicator is phenaphthalene indicator what it is called phenaphthalene phenaphthalene indicator in aptal indicator this is the indicator we are going to use now okay now what you have to do take a clean test book a test tube sorry take a clean test tube and what you have to do up uh, one by fourth of it is uh, one by fourth of the test book is filled with uh, hydrochloric acid what it is it is a acid hydrochloric acid what you have to do fill one fourth one by fourth of the test tube is filled with hydrochloric acid next what you have to do now we have to uh, note the, its color you have to note its color next what we have to do now we have to add phenaphthalene indicator two to three drops of phenaphthalene indicator now what you have to do again you have to note your uh, note or uh, uh, note the color of the color of the solution then what uh, then what is the color means in that case you observe there is no color we call it the is the state as colorless colorless when acid plus indicator acid plus indicator okay now what you have to do now you have to add some drops of sodium hydro drop of sodium hydroxide solution what it is sodium hydroxide solution basically sodium hydroxide solution is a base now to the in the test book in test tube there are basically acid and indicator now you have to add sodium hydroxide solution by using a dropper drop by drop and after adding a drop what you have to do you have to stir the tube gently and and, and you have to observe the change in color if you didn't find any change in color then what you have to do again add again add some more sodium hydroxide solution drops uh, until the color changes until the color changes you have you you have to add the sodium hydroxide solution so so when uh, suddenly what happens the color of the solution will changes into pink what the color pink so until you observe the pink color you have to add sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop and you have to shake it gently okay so what happened when you have uh, add uh, uh, when you have add an indicator to the acid it becomes colorless but when you have adding the 
base it is become color which is pink color now again what you have to do again what you have to do again you have to add some uh, again you have to add some uh, acid drops as it drops hydrochloric acids uh, hydro hydrochloric acids drops then what happened again it will becomes colorless colorless so now add one more drop of dilute hydrochloric so, so acid what do you observe the solution again become colorless so first you have added the acid and to and to it you have added the indicator and after that you have added the base and now it appears to be pink color and now what you have added you know, now now again you have added the hydrochloric acid drops and what happened it become colorless it become colorless so so the solution again becomes now again you have to if you had now again if you had a NaH which is meant by sodium hydroxide again it becomes pink again if you add a HCl again it becomes colorless this is the process continues so it is evident that when the solution is basic when the solution is basic phenaphthalene gives a pink color phenaphthalene gives a pink color basic the phenaphthalene indicator uh, it gives the pink color it gives the pink color when 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 it is a base when it is a base phenaphthalene gives pink color okay on the other hand when the solution is acidic whenever it is a acidic it means colorless it gives uh, no color no color okay so when there is a base the phenaphthalene will give pink color when there is an acid the phenaphthalene becomes colorless colorless no color okay now now what is happening in the uh, test tube means when an acidic solution is mixed with the basic solution what happened when the acidic solution is mixed with the basic solution the effect of the acidic nature uh, cancel out the effect of the basic nature so both the effects will be cancel out both the effects will be cancel outed so finally there is will be no effect and we call that as neutralization state or neutralize so when you add acid to base what happened they will be neutralized the effect of acid you know, the effect of acid acidic nature will be neutralized uh, by the adding of basic nature whenever we add acid and base then they will they together the effect of together will be cancel out they will be neutralized when an acidic solution is mixed with the basic solution both the solutions neutralize the neutralize the effect of each other and uh, the effect of acid is neutralized by neutralized by the base the effect of base is neutralized by the acid so finally the, the the solution will become into neutral the solution will become into neutral state basically before one solution is acidic one solution is basic but whenever whenever you have added both these the finally the solution become neutral so what happens it become neutral no it does not having any acidic or basic natures so and one more thing you observe when an acid is mixed with base means the the test tube will be heated you can uh, if you touch the test tube uh, you will feel some warm why because means when you add as acid to a base in that reaction in the neutralization process what happens some heat will be released some heat will be released okay and what are the uh, and what happened and uh, solution become neutralized basically this we have discussed earlier when acid is mixed with base the effect of acid is neutralized by the base and the effect of base is uh, neutralized by the acid finally the solution becomes solution become neutral neutral it is it is not having a stick nature it is not having basic nature basically it becomes neutral and one more thing we have will observe when an acid is mixed with base is uh, some some new substance will be formed we call that as salt some new substance will be formed we call it as salt so finally finally in in the neutralization reaction in the neutralization reaction whenever we add acid to a base what happens then the new substance formed which is called as salt so the, the reaction between an acid and a base whenever there is a reaction between acid and base base is known as neutralization we call that as the neutralization the reaction between acid and base we call it as neutralization salt and water are produced in the process with the evolution of water what are the water produced some heat is released some salt is released some salt is produced and water is also 
produced in that reaction so what happens acid plus base whenever we add acid plus base then the new substance which is called salt is produced and some water is produced and some heat is evolved evolved this will be happened whenever you add acid with a base and we call that as the reaction between acid and base is called the neutralization okay basically what is the reaction here done here we have used the acid hydrochloric acid which is represented as hcl and what is the base we are used here that is sodium hydroxide which is naoh so whenever we have mixed both this what is the salt here produced the salt is the nacl which is called sodium chloride which is the normal salt which we use in our nacl is the normal salt which we use in our daily life daily life uh, in your kitchen we will you are using salt now that salt is nothing but nacl and water h2o this will be produced okay and uh, that's it students so we have completed the third topic we have completed the third topic now we are entering into the fourth topic now we have entered in the fourth topic what it is basically we have learned about what is meant by neutralization the reaction between acid and base is called neutralization now what we are going to learn neutralization in everyday life neutralization in everyday life uh, in our everyday life we will we will encounter some situations in such situations we will use neutralization process basically we will try to neutralize to get rid of it okay what are those everyday life situations the first situation is indigestion what it is indigestion basically in our stomach uh, we take food that food will be digested with the help of the one acid basically in our stomach there is one acid what it is that is nothing but hydrochloric acid our food is digested because of that hydrochloric acid but in some cases but in some cases uh, what happens our food does not digested our food does not digested there is some problem of indigestion so in that cases what you have to do you have in that cases you have uh, we have to neutralize the effect of that hydrochloric acid so uh, when when can we neutralize an acid by adding a base you can neutralize the acid so for that to relieve from indigestion to relieve from indigestion what will you do basically we are having acid in our stomach and due to that uh, in some in some cases we are getting indigestion problem so uh, we have to neutralize the effect of the acid so what we have to do we have to add some base so that the acid will be neutralized acid effect will be neutralized with the effect of base so what is the uh, what is the uh, one we are using here such as we are we can and at that times so what will you use we use antacid antacid anta means opposite and is such as milk of magnesia which contains magnesium hydroxide okay which is nothing but milk of magnesia what may milk of magnesia contains milk of magnesia contains magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide which is a base so due to this effect the excessive acid the excessive acid the effect of excessive acid will be neutralized so that our indigestion problem and uh, will be removed okay we will be healed so this is the first condition in our everyday life we, we are neutralizing neutralizing the hcl hydrochloric acid in our stomach and what is the another uh, another incident means ant bite okay uh, whenever an ant bites you what happens you will feel some uh, you will feel some uh, pain some burning sensation some fail why it is happening means basically uh, while uh, ant bite you it will release the uh, acid formic acid on your skin what it is formic acid so it is basically acidic acidic it is the acid it will so it will cause the burning sensation on your on your skin so in order to neutralize the burning sensation in order to neutralize the acidic nature in order to neutralize the effect of acid, acid what you have to do you have to add base so then that that the that the base will neutralize the acidic effect so what is the base you, you can use means the effect of acid can be neutralized by rubbing moist baking soda what it is moist baking soda which means sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate or calamine solution oh, okay which contains zinc carbonate okay either with sodium hydrogen carbonate or with zinc carbonate these two are the bases by rubbing with these two bases you can relieve from that pain and that from 
uh, burning sensation because basically formic acid is an acid it has some acidic nature to neutralize that acidic nature you need some base that base only can neutralize that acidic effect so for that reason we are using the sodium hydrogen carbonate which is a base or another thing is the zinc carbonate so this is the another situation in our life we encountered and we are using neutralization now what is the next that is the soil treatment so in present tense uh, in present tense uh, excess use of fertilizers are increased so many farmers are using fertilizers to get a good efficiency of crop but due to those uh, due to those um, fertilizers artificial chemical fertilizers what happening the soil is becoming more acidic if the soil is become acidic it will not support the growth it will not support the growth of plant so in order to uh, in order to decrease the acidic level of uh, soil what you have to do in order to neutralize the acidic effect what you have to do why well, we have to add some base you have to add some base though so that the as excess acidic nature will be uh, removed neutralized by the base okay for that purpose when the soil is too acidic it is treated with bases like quick lime calcium oxide we can use calcium oxide to neutralize the acidic effect or a slick lime calcium hydroxide or we can use calcium hydroxide also to neutralize the acidic effect or if the soil is basic organic matter compost is added to it uh, the which is the natural natural way that is compost organic matter compost is also used organic matter releases acids which neutralize the basic nature of the soil okay whenever whenever uh, if the soil is basic so basically if the soil is acid what you have to do you have to add bases so what are the bases you are adding you can add calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide but whenever the soil is basic again you have to reduce the neutralize the basic effect in that cases you have to add acid so in that cases what you have to add if you add organic matter which means uh, compost it will release some acids so that the basic nature will be so that the basic nature will be removed so one thing if soil is acidic soilic acidic then what you have to do it, you have to add base to neutralize it so what are the bases you are using calcium calcium oxide calcium oxide and one other thing is calcium hydroxide suppose if soil is basic it has more basic nature what you have to do in order to neutralize it you have to add yes acid so what acids you are using basically you have to use organic matter which can, which releases some acid so that the so that the soil will be neutralized the excessive basic nature will be removed so this is the one another everyday life we are neutralizing the acid and base now what is the last one that is factory waste so so the factory uh, the waste of factory are having so much of acids if that waste are directly released into the ponds or into the environment what happened the water will be more acidic and the fish and the uh, living organs in the in the water will be died so in order what you have to do to to what you have to do to re prevent it you have to uh, you have to neutralize the acidic acidic nature of the waste and then you have to release it so for that purpose what you have to do the acids will kiss filch and other organisms the factory waste are therefore neutralized by adding basic substances so in order to uh, remove it or in order to prevent it what you have to what you have to do you have to add some basic substances to the factory waste you have to add some basic substance to the factory waste so that the uh, acidic nature of the factory waste will be neutralized then what happened then the 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 living organisms in the water or the living organisms in the surroundings will be survived so that's it students we have completed our chapter there are some keywords as acid acid means which are sold to taste acidic nature the chemical nature of acid is called acidic nature base means which is bitter and feel sloppy basic nature means the chemical nature we call it as basic indicator means indicator there are natural indicators and artificial chemical indicators uh, in what indicators will do indicators will help to judge whether it is a uh, acid or base and what is neutral means when we uh, when we uh, add a add acid to base the uh, the basically 
basically a signature is one basic nature is one if it is not having acidic nature or basic nature then we call it as neutral then we call it as neutral it does not having acid acid properties or acidic nature or it does not having basic nature or basic properties what is neutralization the uh, reaction between acid and base acid and base acid reaction between acid and base is called and neutralization what is salt whenever we the whenever there is a reaction between acid and base the when there is the whenever there is a neutralization a new substance will be formed that substance will be called as salt okay that's it students we have completed our chapter chapter completed chapter completed students now what we have to do we have to get into the summary we have to get into summary so without wasting time we will fastly move to the summary basically the chapter name is acids bases and salts the first topic is acids and bases what are acids means basically acids are sour in taste acid the word acid is come from the latin which is acer uh, which means uh, sour okay bases bases are bitter in taste and uh, they are uh, they are they feels soapy so basically they are we call those as bases but every time by tasting the substances uh, we have to decide acid and base means it is very difficult task because there are some some substances we we can't eat or we can't taste if you taste them it will cause injuries to our health so we have to find another method to differentiate between acid and basic if any substance is does not having acid or basic nature we call that substance as neutral substances okay the chemical nature of such substance is called acid weak substances acids acids chemical nature of acids is acidic chemical nature of bases is basic okay now uh, what are the substances which can be uh, used to indicate uh, which can be used to test whether the substance is uh, acid or base means indicators indicators are substances which are used to test whether uh, whether the given substance is acidic acidic or basic so now what are those indicators basically uh, we are now we are going to study about the natural indicators around as what are the natural indicators litmus litmus is a natural dye it is a natural indicator around us it is from lichens okay basically we, we have red litmus and blue litmus papers what blue litmus paper does when the acid is uh, when acid drops are poured on the blue litmus paper it will turn into red litmus whenever base is poured on the red litmus paper it will turns into blue and another uh, natural indicator is turmeric how we can you make turmeric indicator means uh, take some turmeric powder and add water to it and make it as a paste and apply it on a filter paper the, so that you after that you can cut those strips then finally your turmeric indicator is ready and one uh, one more uh, natural indicator is china rose as a indicator what you have to do you have to dig the petals of the china china rose and you have to, uh, to add add those petals in a test tube and you have to add hot water and you have to wait until the color of that uh, uh, solution will be changed after for some time its color will be changed then you were uh, then your natural indicator china rose indicator is ready to use okay those are the natural indicators we are having and now what is called the neutralization when the reaction between acid and base is called neutralization whenever you add a acid to base what happens a new substance will be formed that new substance we called as salt okay so basically here is an activity what you are doing in the beginning you are adding some acid and you are adding the indicator which is the phenaphthal indicator after adding what happens when acid, acid is added to phenaphthal indicator it becomes colorless after that we are we are adding with a dropper uh, sodium hydroxide solution which is a base what happened after some time it will become pink again you have acid be, uh, add acid then what happened again it is become uh, colorless again you have added some more uh, base uh, the again what happened it become again pink so finally what you can understand whenever we are uh, whenever there is more excess quantity of acid then the solution becomes acidic and the phenolphthalein shows the colorless colorless and whenever we are adding more base the solution become more basic and uh, the phenolphthalein indicator showing the pink color pink color okay so 
the reaction between acid and base is called a neutralization salt and water and heat are produced in the case of uh, neutralization basically when hydro hcl is uh, mixed with hydrogen and sodium hydroxide uh, sodium chloride will be formed which is a basic salt iodine salt we, we, which will be used in our kitchen in our dishes okay next what is the fourth topic is neutralization in everyday life in the case of indigestion um, there is excess of hydrochloric acid in order to uh, relieve from indigestion in order to neutralize it we are using magnesium hydroxide in the case of ant bite basically ant uh, ant sp spills out formic acid in order to uh, overcome its effect in order to neutralize it we are using sodium hydrogen carbonate or zinc carbonate in order to uh, if some in the, some cases soil becomes acidic in order to uh, neutralize that acidic nature we are going to use the calcium oxide calcium oxide but in the case some cases the soil becomes basic in order to neutralize we use the acid which is organic matter and uh, in some cases factory waste are more acidic releasing those factory waste directly into the water will cause the death of uh, many animal organisms many living organisms so what they have to do they have to neutralize the acidic effect of the uh, factory waste so that by you uh, by adding some basic substances though so that the living organisms will be survived that's it to students we have completed our chapter so if you want more videos if you want more videos on your all subjects please subscribe our channel we are creating all the content all the subjects free of course from class class 6 to class 8 cbse right here in on this channel so please subscribe our channel also like and share our videos have a nice day keep smiling bye bye